Okay, so today what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to be looking at the real-life examples of using sets. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start the video. We're doing a quick bit of recap. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, five kind of rules that we have to follow with sets, just to refresh it in your heads. And then we'll go and we'll look at three questions from the book, and then I'll give you questions to do, and we'll see how you get on. Okay, all right, so... First thing we're going to look at here, however, is we're going to look at revision. Okay, so recap. Okay, so a quick recap, all right, is the first one. A, union B, okay, which is everything in set A or B. Okay, so what that is, guys, is that in your Venn diagram, I'm going to draw this and then rub it out, okay, is if you have your Venn diagram like this, 2, 1, 2, okay, well then, A union B would be 5, it would be everything, you see, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so it's A or B, everything in A or B, okay, so basically everything in the whole two circles, all right, the reason we say A or B is because you don't count the center bit twice, okay, so that's the first one. The second one is A intersection B, okay? A intersection B, so it's in A and B. So again, I'll draw a second Venn diagram down here. So again, we'll just go two, one, two. So A intersection B will be one. In other words, it's in both of them, that one there, okay? That's it, it's the intersection, the bit in the middle, okay? Now, you, you don't necessarily need to take these down, guys. If, you're, if you've kind of forgotten them, take them down. But if you kind of remember them, it's fine, okay? I often find that if you write these down at the top of the page before you tackle these kind of questions, it'll make it a lot easier instead of trying to flick back through the notes. All right, so the next one is A is a subset of B, okay? So A, or oh, sorry, uh, B is a subset. So not a, B is a subset, not A is a subset. So it's a subset. Okay, now this one won't really uh, come up. Actually, sorry, I did that. No, I'm right, yeah. So A is a subset of B, okay? So what this means is that if you have your two circles, that would be B and A would be in here, in here, okay? So you put the one that's inside first, okay? So if, um, so B is, uh, A is a subset of B, I was correct, yeah, okay? Uh, if I said the other way, I was thinking of B is a subset of A, um, then I'd have to have it the other way around, okay? In other words, that B is, A is in B, okay? Or B is in A, whichever, doesn't really matter, okay? Whichever one comes first goes on the inside, all right? Now, uh, that won't really affect us here. The next one then, we did with you in the last video, okay? So, hopefully you remember this one, a complement, okay? So, it's in universe, so it's in the universe, uh, but not A. So it's in the universe, but it's not in A. Okay, so it's everything in the universe, but not in A. And then the one you did last week, A slash B, okay, which is A not in B. Okay, so A not in B. So the idea here, guys, is that if you see something like this, like how many people... Um, this, is the, this is the one that we'll see a lot of, actually, okay? So this is the one that's going to play a large role um, in the next couple of questions. It's called the set difference, okay? Well, sorry, not, not A, not B. I say A, not B, but the, the correct maths terminology is A less B, okay? In other words, what is in A but not in B, okay? That's the easiest way to remember this, okay? So we covered that last week. Now, that's going to be a big one for what we're going to do today, Okay? So what we're gonna do now, so there you are, one, two, three, four, five. So there you are five kind of recaps, okay? They're the five main ones we're gonna use. And I'm gonna draw my line under that, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these. So in your text and textbook, guys, these are on page 56. Okay, so go to your ebook, page 56, and this is question one, okay? So page 56, question one. 
all right? So take these down from here on out, okay? Start taking this down, these examples as I go through them, okay? So I'll try and explain them uh, and explain what I'm doing and I'm gonna use the correct terminology the whole way through it. In other words, I'm gonna give the correct symbols and stuff, get used to using the correct symbols just so it'll be constantly refreshed in your head, okay? That's the thing about maths, guys. Keep doing it and then you, all right? So if, if you kind of skip steps, you forget what you're doing and it'll be harder then to come back and revise it. So we have our universe. U. And then we have two circles, so we have B and A. So B is here, A is here, and they're saying that this is 7, this is 5, this is 11, and this is also 7. Okay? So that's the universe we were given. We'd be universe, we'd B and A, 7 and B, only B, 5 in B and A, and 11 in only A, and 7 others, okay? So what they're saying is U equals students in class. That's our universe, so the classroom. Um, B, oh, sorry, it's not, sorry, not A, it's F. I misread that, okay, so it's F. So B are the number of kids who play basketball. And F are the kids who play football. Okay? So U, number of students in the class. B, play basketball. F, play football. Okay? That's why I put on A, because I'm so used to putting on A and B. All right? So this is a real-life example now. They're giving us this information. Okay? Let me see. Do they always give you the Venn diagrams? Yeah, so these questions here, guys, they're all going to give you Venn diagrams till the end. Then all of a sudden, they're going to get you to try and create your own Venn diagram. But again, they're not that difficult. It's very easy, this stuff, guys. Very straightforward. So number one, what they're saying to us is, how many play boat? So, play boat. So what would that be? So what do you think play boat would be applied to? If we look up here. We have A union B, A intersection B, A is subset B, A complement, A less B. Okay, so which one of those do you think would be uh, applicable here? Let me just fix that, there we go. Yeah, it's gonna be the first one. Okay, it's gonna be this one, A or B, because they play both, you see? So if they play A or B, so that's what we're gonna say. All right, so here, so in other words, therefore, it's gonna be B union F which is going to be seven plus five plus 11. You see, it's going to be these three in the middle, seven, 11, and five, okay? All right, that's what it's going to be. So let's do the maths here. So 11, or sorry, seven plus five will give us what? Well, seven plus three is 10, so that means there's two left over in the five, okay? Uh, plus. Oh, hang on a minute, let me, let me reread that. How many people play board games? Oh, apologies, actually, I'm wrong. I made a mistake, I misread that. So, I'm incorrect. I'm wrong. So you probably noticed it there. If you were smart, you realize I made a mistake. I misread the question. So it says, how many students play boat? So what would boat be? That number in the middle. Okay, so I misread that. Apologies there, guys. I read it as... Play, I, I, for some reason, my brain said either or, but that's not what the question said. The question said boat, and I just copped it there, play boat. So if you're playing boat, then it has to be this one, A and B. Okay, so some of you probably copped that and said that before I said the next part of the video, and if you did, very good. Okay, you, you made a mistake there, I misread it. So it just, just goes to show. Uh, be careful how you read the question, okay? So, and, and also, look, there's no harm in me making a mistake there. This is, as I always say, the importance of constantly rereading that question, okay? so. I was moving ahead there and I stopped for a second to go back and reread the question to make sure I was correct and I realized I made a mistake. Okay, so always be checking the question. So yeah, it's both, not either or, it's both. So therefore it has to be and. So who plays A and B? So in other words, B intersection F, which is five. So apologies there guys, I probably threw you off there for a second and confused you, but you were correct. It isn't A or B, it's A and. The question was, and play boat. Okay, so it's our intersection. Okay, so very good catching that, guys. So part two, how many pupils are there in the class? So how many pupils are there in the class? Well, that would be the universe, wouldn't it? 
how many the total universe? So that'd be u, which would be uh, seven plus five plus 11 plus seven. In other words, you gotta add up everything. You see, so we've got seven, five, 11, and seven. You see, so that's the whole class. That's all that is, it's a very easy, easy one. So our total universe should work out to be uh, 30. Seven and seven is 14, okay? So 14 plus nine is, uh, uh, sorry, 14 plus nine is 19 plus 11, gives us 30, okay? So part three. So part three, how many pupils play football only? So how many football only? Well, what would that be? Which one of these would that be? That'd be this one, yes. How many in A but not in B? How many in A but not in B? So that would be, or for us, it's going to be, how many play football, is it? So football less basketball. And you see, basketball, football. How many play basketball, football, but not basketball? So therefore it's football less basketball. So if we look at our Venn diagram, 11, you see? Because they're the only ones, five, these seven play basketball, these five play both, so we're left with just the 11, okay? That makes sense? So yeah, it's just 11. Okay? So 1v, how many pupils play neither of the two games? So what would that be? Which one of these would you think would apply? Which one of these rules did we do all along? Yeah, it'd be this one, complement. It's in the universe, but not in A, okay? Or as we did it before, it's in the universe. So basically, we're looking at this one over here. There's seven here, you see? They're the only seven who do not play any sport. Or at least they don't play basketball or football. So how would we phrase that? That would be B, union, F, complement, which is simply B, seven, okay? Okay, so let's look at number two then. So question number two. Right, so I'm gonna, again, I'll draw out our Venn diagram. Now again, as I say, guys, with these, the trick is to keep doing them. They're all, you get, once you get into the rhythm, you realize that they're not that difficult. They're fairly straightforward, okay? Just keep applying the rules we had all along to solve it. That's it, it's all you have to do. That's P. That's Q. This is our universe. This has 10, this has two, and this has 11. Okay, now what they tell us here is, 30 students were asked which of the television programs P and Q they watch. So U is 30 people asked. Okay, and P and Q are TV channels, okay? So P and Q, so P and Q equals channels. Okay, so there are the TV channels, that's relevant. The key one there is the universe being 30. We'll come back to that, that's gonna be important, okay? So that's why I write down all your information, guys. Write it all down, okay? Because if you leave it out, you there's a question later on that'll catch you if you didn't cop that. So part one. Okay, so how so how many watch P? So how many watch P? Well, that's just P, isn't it? And note they said, let me reread the question again, how many watch program P? So it's not program P only or program P or anything, so it's just P. In other words, 10 and two, you see, so P is 10 plus two, which should give us 12. Do you understand? That's where it comes from. It's just how many watch P? Okay, part two. How many pupils watch program Q? So uh, watch Q only. Now that's different. 
So what do we going to apply here? Let's look at a Venn diagram. So I'm not going to go back up to the top to the revision note. Let's see, can we remember it? Q only, how would we write that? We'd write that as Q less P. Q less P. So Q less P means just Q only, which would be for my diagram, that 11 there. Can you see? Very good, okay? So Q less P is 11. Excellent. You guys getting the hang of this? So, sorry, not number four, number three. So number three, how many pupils watched both? So watched both. So this is where I made the mistake last time. Can you cop which one is both this time? So P and Q, it watched P and Q. Yeah, it's the intersection. It's the bit in the middle. Very good, excellent. So it would be P intersection Q, which equals two. Very good, excellent. Okay, so it's the bit in the middle, two. Now, the last bit, a bit tricky. So, how many watched neither? Now, that's a real question. How many watched neither one? Give me a second. Now, if you just looked at the diagram, you wouldn't be able to answer that. Why? Well, look at our diagram. We're not missing. What they mean here, what are they, what are they asking for here, actually? Watched neither. Well, watched neither will be P union Q complement. In other words, everything in the universe, but not P and Q. Okay? So, not in P or Q. Now, if you go back to your diagram, there's no number out here. You see? This area here is blank. But we were told in the question that there are 30 people asked. You see? That's why I wrote it down. Write down all the information you're given. Okay? So we got to work it out. Okay? So we need to work this out. So how do we work it out? Well, first off, let's find P union Q. What would P union Q be? Well, that would be 10 plus 2 plus 11. So let's add that up. 10 plus 2 plus 11. So 11 and 10 gives us 21 plus 2, 23. Okay? And we know the universe, U, is 30. So therefore, P union, sorry, not U, it's a union symbol. P union Q complement would be 30 minus 23, which gives us 7. Get a better 7. Okay? So that was a complicated one, I understand, but let's look at it, let's look at it again. They told us how many don't do either one. They don't watch P or Q. Well, they asked 30 people. So basically, whatever's left is floating around here in the universe, not in the, the, the diagram, not in P or Q. So how do we write that mathematically? We say, well, P union Q, P union Q complement, which means not in P or Q. So what we have to find first is what exactly is P union Q and take that from the universe to be left with how many don't watch either. And that's seven. Okay. All right. So hopefully you're kind of getting the grips with these. So let's look at question. Hold on a second. No, let me draw a line underneath that. And we'll do question three. So, question three now, once again, I will draw out our diagram. I would always recommend, guys, you draw this out. Um, but look, each to their own. Personally, I find it helps to visualize it on your own page. Okay? But always reference back to the diagram. Always keep looking at it. Always keep referencing back. Always double check. Okay? Don't just put down the first thing that comes to your head. And like I did at the start, and I made a mistake straight away. And that's the universe. Okay, so that's our information here. Okay? So, U equals number in the youth club. Okay? P 
P is the PlayStation. And we'll play the PlayStation. And X is Xbox. So P, number who play the PlayStation, and X is the number who play the Xbox. Yes, okay. So how many teacher, teenagers use the Xbox? Okay, so that's question one now. Is how, oh, my M didn't uh, pop up there. How many use, make sure I read this question carefully now, PlayStation. I think I said Xbox earlier, well, there you go. So how many use a PlayStation? So again, if you think you know how to answer this, guys, by all means, for this one, move ahead. So how many use the PlayStation? So I'll give you a second there not to answer that. How many would use the PlayStation only? And I want you to give me the correct terminology. Use the correct terminology, guys. Don't just give me the number, okay? Just use the correct terminology so when you're revising this, you'll understand where you got these numbers from. So how many use the PlayStation? Well, what would that be? That'd be P, wouldn't it? Yeah. So what would P be? P would be 28 plus 12. Why is it 28 plus 12? Well, we've 28 here, and there's 12 in the middle. So 12 play both. So you have to include them as well, because they also play the PlayStation. It didn't say either or. It just said PlayStation. So how much is this? Well, 8 plus 2 is 10. 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus another one is 40. Okay? So 40 in total. So number 2. Uh, how many you saw? This would be easy. How many for Xbox? How many use the Xbox? Right, well, let's go back to our diagram. So I'll look at that now for a second. What do you think? What's the answer going to be? Okay, so I'm gonna do it now. Let's go. So we have two numbers. How many use the Xbox? So 12 and 21. Why? Because it doesn't say either or, it says plays the Xbox. So for me, that's gonna be X, which is 12 plus 21, which gives me 33. Now, number three. How many teenagers use the PlayStation only? So now, PlayStation only. So how many use the PlayStation only? Now we go back up. What do you think that's gonna be? And it is. Look at that, what do we think? PlayStation only, what would that be? Well, that would be PlayStation less Xbox, which would be that number here, 28. Did you figure it out? Okay, so it'll be just 28, PlayStation only. Now, number four, how many use neither? Neither or, they use, I, they use neither. So let's go back up here. And again, I don't want the number. Number's no good to me in maths, guys. Number's no good in maths. You have to explain to me where you got that number. So show me the symbols. So which number, what is it? What is it gonna be? They use neither the Xbox nor the PlayStation. So what's that gonna be? That's gonna be P. Union X complement. Okay? P union X complement. That's how we'd write it. Because it's everything in the universe. Okay? But not in P and X. Which is 14. Now I'm going to add in a little extra question here just to kind of uh, test you. Okay? All right? So I want you to solve the following. Okay? What's that going to be? Okay, so what's that? 
going to be. And yeah, we'll do that. So what are they? Solve those. Solve these two here now. So we'll make this, this isn't in the book, this is just what I'm giving you here now, just to kind of push you that a little bit extra. So, the first one, do you recognize that? That is P intersection X. And the next one, X less P. So go back up here and see, can you solve them? Have you got it? Okay, so let's, let's look at the first one. What does this mean? That's P intersection X. Okay, so let's look up here. What's the intersection? The intersection is where the two meet. So it's that one. 12. Okay, so therefore, the answer to this would be 12. Now the next one, let me rub out my red line here, would be x less p. So what would that be? Up here, tell me. What about that right arrow? It would be here, 21. In other words, they play x only, okay? So therefore, it would be, what number is that again? 21. Okay, so hopefully that kind of clears it up a little bit for you guys, all right? So that takes us to just about 20 minutes. So with pause in the video and stuff like that, we're probably coming close to the end of the online class. What I will have you do guys there, just for practice for now, page 56 and 57 of your ebook. Just do for me, let me see, we'll do question four. Do question four and question six, okay? So do question four and question six for now, okay? So write up the notes today. You don't, obviously you didn't have to take down the very first bit, the revision bit, but you should have been taking down everything else, the questions and the answers, how to answer them, okay? And then to finish off, because that won't take, that won't be the full 40 minute class, to finish off the 40 minute class, look at page 56, 57, do questions four and six, okay? So questions four and six. If you have any questions, guys, leave it on the Teams page or in the comments section below. All the best.